What's good, all you in the Who Dat Nation? And it's the one and only Who Dat Davis here for you. And if you don't know, you go know the over here. We bleed black and gold until we are dead and cold. And thank y'all for joining me right here. Listen, a couple of updates. If I'm not doing my live reactions, my pre game show, my post game show, you'll see my videos come out like this in this format with my phone. I'm starting to like recording from my phone. I don't have to always have to sit at my chair just to record stuff like this. I don't have to always have to go live just to bring out some updates with the Saints or their upcoming opponents. So this is going to be a little easier for me, and I, I really like it. So look out for this format more often. Secondly, I'm here because I want to talk a little bit about the injury report today for the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. Starting with the New Orleans Saints always because the Saints is the best team. Argue with the wall. But listen. The New Orleans Saints, they did not have Marcus Williams practice. They didn't have Andrews Pete or Nick Easton. Now, Andrews Pete, not that much of a concern uh, with Will Clapp being able to come up from the practice squad via signing. So, but having Nick Easton back from concussion protocol, hopefully this week, is going to be pretty big. He can be plugged in there at either guard spot or he can go out at the tackle spot. He's a very versatile player. You want someone like that, reliable, defending Drew Brees. Now, with that said, Marcus Williams is a big loss. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Marcus Williams is an, is a top eight safety, and he's, his tackling is rated the best out of all safeties. That's including Jamal Adams, who's having a pretty good year over there in Seattle. So Marcus Williams, uh, fixing that tackling issue he had last, uh, these past couple of years, he's really playing to uh, the potential that Saints uh, saw in him in his rookie year. Now, having him out, like I said, is going to be big. You need someone in the free safety spot. Most likely you're going to see uh, either P.J. Williams or D.J. Swearinger plugged in there. But look, man, there's nothing like there's no shortage of concern in the, in the secondary now. Because Marcus Williams has been able to take away that deep ball, uh, that deep ball threat over the past month and a half or so. And now you have the one-two punch in Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson who can get down the field and burns and burn uh, top corners, man. They can put uh, uh, starting corners on skates. Uh, Janoris Jenkins and Marshawn Lattimore have to really be on their game now because they shouldn't be expecting quality safety help if P.J. Williams is out there. D.J. Swearing is no joke, but he's no Marcus Williams. So, uh, and uh, there's still uh, no Trey Corn Smith. He went out with a four and ankle injury. Uh, during the game against Kansas City Chiefs. So let's look at who the Drew Brees is out with right now. He is out with he is without Michael Thomas. He is without Traquan Smith most likely. He is without Deontay Harris. You have four starting receivers that are going to be out. That just leaves Emmanuel Sanders and whoever else the Saints can uh, bring up from the practice squad. Whether it be Juwan Johnson, Tommy Lee Lewis, Austin Carr, Players like that, uh, Sanders going to have to step up and be that number one guy to give Breeze a reliable option. Most likely he's going to be taken away, but other guys have to win their matchups. Uh, Lil Jordan Humphreys caught his first touchdown, uh, I think, of the of his of his entire career. Uh, so Lil Jordan Humphreys is going to have to possibly step up and play better as a number two to give Drew Breeze that outlet if Sanders can't get open. Now let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings for a little bit. The Minnesota Vikings injury list is a lot longer. It's a lot longer than probably I even anticipated. Uh, the entire starting D, uh, defensive line is either they either didn't practice or they were limited. And the entire starting linebackers, they didn't participate in practice today. Uh, the most notable one is Eric Kendricks. Uh, Eric Kendricks didn't practice today for, I think it was a calf or an ankle or an ankle injury. Like those things linger as we all as we all seen. So that's going to be pretty significant for the running attack for the New Orleans Saints, who uh, who have a one-two punch in uh, Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray, as you all are so eloquently uh, aware of. So if you don't have your four starting receivers, if you just have Emmanuel Sanders, you have to lean on that run game and you have to attack those linebackers. You have to really stress them out. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be pretty big. All things considered, they are also going to be with uh, possibly their uh, one of their studying edge rushers. So that that Minnesota Vikings defense is looking really thin right now. Uh, it's uh, I'll keep an eye out on the uh, injury reports tomorrow and give you guys an update on that. And finally, I just realized this: Trey Hendrickson was not designated with an injury. He went out. 
uh, against Kansas City, but injury report didn't have him listed as any uh, as a as a concern or even a limited. So that's really good. That's really hopeful. Really promising. You need Trey Henderson to get at Kirk Cousins, who's starting to use his legs a little bit. Uh, and you want to be able to shore up that rotation, especially with Carl Granderson limited with a calf injury. Sorry, with a neck injury. My bad. With a neck injury, uh, Malcolm Brown was, was for the calf injury. Those guys are limited, but to see Malcolm Brown starting to come back into the into the lineup, it'll really shore up that uh, that, that run stopping defense that we're so used to seeing. Especially we got Dalvin Cook coming into your building. But like I said, I'll hold you guys tomorrow with another update on tomorrow's injury report and the designations. Hopefully, we'll see Malcolm Brown and uh, Marquez Callaway come off of uh, IR. I don't know if he was practicing today or not, but we'll see either way. Remember, we bleed black and gold until we are dead and cold. I'll hold you later. <laughs> I'm stupid. This is y'all.